This last stage can be undertaken after you use Acquia Regia. The remaining Acquia Regia solution from recycling contains 1 to 5% gold left over from the process. I slowly poured zinc powder in the remaining Acquia Regia. The zinc powder reacted with the Acquia Regia and thus helped the gold sediment settle. When brown sediment appeared, I continued pouring in zinc powder until reaching the saturation point. This shows that the chemical reaction has finished. I used a piece of cloth to sift the gold sediment. Then I rinsed them with hot water. The cloth I used to sift through the gold sediment can now be burned and the gold sediment could either be made into aquia regia or the sediment could be sorted out and blown dry. I use the gold sediment to make Acquia Regia. I slowly poured the Aqua Regia onto the gold fragments, being careful to avoid any overflow caused by the chemical reaction. Using sodium metabisulfite, I managed to get the gold to settle as sediment at the bottom of the Aquia Regia solution. I slowly poured in the sodium metabisulfite until reaching saturation level, or until the sodium metabisulfite stopped dissolving. At this point, the brown sediment of gold could be seen. I let the solution settle for 30 to 60 minutes. Then, I completely dried the gold sediment out by the careful use of a hot air blow gun, ensuring I did not overly disperse the fragments.
After that, I added a little borax powder to further clean the gold particles. I placed the hard, but still hot, gold particles into a mixture of two parts nitric acid and one part water. This solution further cleans the gold particles. I obtained a little more gold. Before I found out about this technique, I ended up throwing away a large amount of the gold I could have salvaged because I thought all that was left was useless sediment. This is the additional gold obtained from this process, and this is all the gold I have obtained from the complete process. Work safety. During the experimental process, standard safety equipment for working with chemicals should be used, such as gloves and a mask. In addition, the lab or workspace should be well ventilated and situated well away from the community or animals. I hope this technique I have presented will be of value to you all. Please share, subscribe and view our other videos.